them. Did you introduce yourself properly at the beginning of the cast? Myself? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you should introduce yourself as Gordon Freeman's favorite handheld. <laughs> People know that. So in the meantime, they ready up. I would like to go through that comp mod changes again because when I did it first, there was like five viewers. So maybe some of uh, the new viewers are also interested. So I'm put it really quickly. So for the Marines, if differences are that the starting PRS cost. Uh, is increased to 20 from 15. Setback cost changed to 20 from 15. Researchable text on the command station. There, uh, there's new researchable text on the command station uh, that buffs med packs. I think uh, you set the jetpack the wrong way around. They uh, used to be 15 or 20 now. Yeah, as I said change to 20 from 15. Ah, okay. Um, then, yeah, the med packs, they, you can upgrade them in comp mod. That means normally they are healing in comp mod 25 instantly and 25 on delay. And if you upgrade med packs once, you will have a delay, delayed heal of 20 and an insta heal of 30. And if you upgrade them twice, it will be 40 heal instantly and 10 heal on the delay. But this also requires an armory or an advanced armory that can upgrade. And the marine also the supply change. They have a supply change, so uh, every basically every structure Are uses, ready? uses more supply. Are they ready? What? They're asking if we are ready. Okay. Yeah. Tell me when they go ready, okay so So starting, starting PRS is also increased to 15 from 12, but also at the same time the life forms cost 3 more res. There's no life form X available for the command to drop. And also cysts are getting damaged when they are not connected. Neurotoxin is a new feature. Uh, it's instead of focus. It adds it basically adds up damage or bite, uh, poisonous damage over time. Uh, the silence has been removed for competitive play and also the same, well, kind of the same supply changes for the aliens happen. Aliens, the alien structures cost more supply, but if you sit and also if you're sitting, oh, they're going live again, right? Yeah. Okay, now we moved from what I'd say is the most marine favorite map to the most alien favorite map in the season rotation. And gravity is being skipped completely by marines, leaving Pi the opportunity to just do whatever. He's trying to get that ambush, but the marines saw him, so he had to go for the parasite. And we see already three skulks down and no marine in change. So that should be the perfect possibility to push. And Mr. also is taking that. Mr. Oizo should put up through Organ to just try to snipe the gorge when he's trying to drop the tunnel because they are very delayed right now. Yes. 
But Azu is not going for that early pressure because the Skulks are already teaming up for him. And this should have been easy clear for the aliens, but he gets lots of damage. Like, one Skulk is in half HP, the other one quarter HP. And Puppy again getting lots of chip damage in, but not able to kill two Fox. Wow, that's a lot of PV and Oxy. So I crack they, a whip, lots of clocks. They really don't want Marines in there. It's a typical strategy by the Russians, I saw that a lot. Also when Crazy Cat had teams, they they like to, to clog up Oxy and disable okay. any pressure going on there. It makes sense if there's uh, so a tunnel in Oregon, uh, then the two weak spots to push are basically Baywing and Oxy. And usually Baywing is never kept. And if it's just been sacrificed by aliens, then... Yeah, if Oxy is fortified like that, this they... whip can... aliens will go for a high-res game then. The whip, but the whip can be sniped easily from outside. Mm, yeah, but the whip can also move. So let's see what Poppy does about that. He will see that. Uh, the, ooh, the hit doesn't hit. The whip doesn't hit his fir its first. But now it retreats, yeah. But the commander noticed this whip can be easily sniped. But here comes Street Dog with the perfect timing, but also the perfect timing for Asa to rotate, and now they can go in. But they split up. So can they, can they at least kill the whip? Wow, whip But that safe. whip was slow. If Kirby would also gone in. Oh, Mr. Mr. And Oil here, uh, almost the fourth Marine goes down, there. and now four Marines down with only one IP. That's huge. Now the, the aliens. death of EC and... Uh, at least EC and probably supply when they manage to get Poppy. Gar is doing a lot of noise though, might be sniped off here. Gravity is being... Unprotected, kind of zoned by Unique right now, and Bo Badger. Pretty sure he heard him right now. So Barbage decided not to take that one-on-one -on -one engagement, but now Pi comes back and Barbage is also here. So they are the team up right now and go in. The Marines are not able to rotate in time. But great shooting by Mr. Oizo killing the Skulk and here comes the rotation by Unique and Barbage retreats because he's out of armor and out of energy. Those Lurks playing separate. And Gar is really low! Calculated. 18%. <laughs> yeah, really aggressive luck play and they're killing marines all over the place and keep the spawn queue going. I remember Close. correct. Go on. <laughs> no. Go on. Uh, if I remember correctly, the horror show uh, had pretty strong alien team play as well. If I remember correctly, it was Kyo doing the play call there, so I guess he uh, took her experience from there over here, which works in favor of Fallen Wasn't Souls. it crazy? I think it was both, but yeah. if I remember correctly, Kyo did calls as well. <laughs> that lurk on 8%, they focused it down, but it, esca it escaped. The lurks are still on no upgrades. I they might be completely wrong and it was only Crazy Cat who did the calls, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've noticed when I watch some streams at least. But I couldn't really understand the, the Russian language. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Maybe Crazy Cat was just shit talking all day. <laughs> okay, so here comes this huge backplay. <laughs> Look at that brilliant alien play. They know that the Marines are low on rest and now they're just backplaying left, left to right, kill all the weaker. Pawnee can't do anything alone on the tunnel. 
Too much also, the lurk is going low again, just barely. The Marines cannot finish their lurk, so. They are doing great, great damage. But now we saw the first lock go down to Mr. Oyser with some nice aim on supply lines. Mr. Oyser needed one round to shake off his rust. Now back in action. Topping the kills right now. Yeah. So maybe some one map would have been nice. But he didn't know that he had to Merc, right? It was like... The other Merc was not approved, so... He was not in the sauna long enough. <laughs> yeah. Which is fine. It's it's kind of funny though that they didn't approve it, him because on the match page the Russians said that they will approve any merc. They wrote it on the match match page. <laughs> okay. And I was like, hmm, why don't you ask Heracles then? <laughs> and then they asked we, yeah, okay, why not? Denied. <laughs> and then suddenly they don't approve him. <laughs> Hypocrisy. <laughs> Marines still on three RT is not exactly looking great for them. The phase gate take is just going up, and fates are again delayed by five rests. They they go fate. So with their first upgrade as well, I guess they don't want to go fade without carapace. Could be a thing. Or region in Wyro's case. Yeah. So now face kit is up, but the Marines are able to pl place the face kit. But the problem is that they don't have the main base phase get up yet, so this will take some time to have that established. Now here comes it. This is interesting, the baits are playing together and the lurks. So, kind of, kind of um, a strange mix up, but it works out because there's only one shotgunner in EC. So that means the Lurks just need to power spike him down. My hero fading out some bullets, delaying that phase gate even longer. But now the main phase gate is up and three marines in gravity should be able to get the gate up in time. But the Lurks the Lurks will now face two versus two engagement on versus only rifles, this can be dangerous. Let's see if they go for it. They wisely retreat and will now team up with the fates it looks like to kill gravity. And the gorge. So they crush gravity because two in the sea. It means only three marines are defending and it's only shotgunners. So the lurks have an easy time to spike down the shotgunners, which they are doing. And now it comes only one rotation to the gate. He focused on the lurk, but Y hero and Gar are finishing. So now it's it there is a grind gate going on. Commander going there as well, and they managed to kill a lurk with that. So this is a, and if the second lurk lurk goes down with one percent, one HP doesn't go down. But the fade is out of energy almost, and twenty two percent. Nobody in position to trap those life forms. Nice job by Pi sniping off the rotator towards repair. Yes. And Q he will is just again on the rest fighting mission. He will just delay the marine long enough for repair to die. Now oh, here comes the trapper. Asu and Peppy are rotating, but Waiheo is fast enough to retreat. Again. Oh, Bob Ager again on 2%. And now he finally goes down to Mr. Oizo with his second solo lurk kill. Good job by him setting up the ambush on supply line. Nice read.
Okay, so apparently admins uh, blocked him to Merc and not uh, and not the teams it's himself. The teams it their self, so According to K Mac uh, the Fallen Souls did not deny we but it where the admins did. Yeah, that's what I just <laughs> Okay, I didn't listen. Like in the games. <laughs> <laughs> you mean in our in our games? Yep. <laughs> so here comes uh, uh, some some guys attempt to kill the power node, but Mr. Oasa just wait went for the gorge and died that time. And Marines are looking to get a skylight gate up with only two rifles on the left side. Uh, it's two rifles. They will not be able. Oizo getting his third lurker now. I didn't. Ah, oh, yeah. Didn't see that. You managed to get through the lanes to supply, brute forcing through offload. Are the Marines actually getting the Skylights Gate up? Only two rifles. Skylights Gate is definitely the right move right now. It is. The wrong move by the aliens is not to deny it. So let's see what happens now. Definitely need some shotgunners to raid when eight into the fight. Here comes the first shotgunner. It's a good. The gate is nicely placed so it can't be uh, biled from the vent. Our four aliens are swarming the gate and nobody left to defend them. It's not defendable. The marine sitting on three extractors. Only weapons one twelve thirteen. I don't really see the way out of this. They have the med pack upgrade, but weapons too. Much more. It's a med pack upgrade one, so not the best one yet. Need that most armory for the second one. And I had a. I had a bug uh, where I was commanding in uh, as Merc, and I could not upgrade the first uh, med pack upgrade. You need armory. Yeah, I had an advanced armory. Okay. Yeah, the bug kind of makes sense that this can happen because it requires an armory and not an advanced armory. But it, yeah, should, yeah. But it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't be like this. I, I built an armory afterwards and I still couldn't research that. Okay, that was weird. okay, then it was something else. The Y hero is. And also, Puppy. Puppy getting both fades really low, one on 6% and the other one on like 50%. Uh, some really close engagements on the bombs. Not that it matters so much anymore, because the aliens are already getting their fraud hive up and so much PV on that map. PV and Oxy never died, the PV and Organ never died. and. Lots of PV and PC as well. Don't we? Really, they don't even need the life form and those bots, right? That hive is 60% grow. After that, you have to make a quick move. Kill a hive, or the aliens will just terminate base. My hero playing very cautious, waiting for his teammates to team up to get those guys in offload. Well, and meanwhile, Pi is just being a dick in their base. And the third time is up now. I'm 
Actually, they died, and the seven RT is going up for aliens right now with a crack, even. Down the three shots by the morning, I'm really getting the knee shots. In. What weak shots, great dodges. <laughs> Stay positive, Grover. <laughs> oh, I mean, with weak shots, I mean, I mean not his kill, I mean just that he's not getting the meat shots in. I'm not doing that in a negative way. <laughs> like, there are strong shots and there are weak shots, right? Yeah, there are strong shots and strong dodges, right? Is that a sneaky gate in space? That looks Definitely like... Definitely sneaky and even more sneaky because the aliens have aura and didn't notice it yet. But in Bob H probably also don't decide to go home to heal. He stays in repair and not spot this gate. And now the marines... The marines has at the same time are having a problem even dealing get the aliens out of their main base. The, they scouted that the gate is up now. And with yeah. four marines... It is possible, but there's a whip. No crack. So let's see. Aliens decide to go for the base and they have to beat them right now. But they can just push out the aliens a bit and then go for the pipe again. This is just a desperate move and even if they kill that hive, aliens yeah. have to hold. Yeah. Well, if aliens stay there to force beacon over and over again the marines can just like use two marines to try to zerg the hive down but the fate is taking care of it now yeah and also weapons one weapons one is not really possible to rush oh this wow round. yeah weapons one is um i was pretty devastating Very good play by the aliens, and very good, also very good PPE play, and definitely the best luck play from today. All the lurks did really good job uh, killing all those moves. That one time when there was four marines dead, only one IP. That was that was yeah, incredible strong uh, play by the. So we have the most um, player damage on Pi, most structured on well, only zero kills. And he was the gorge, not really. Nobody expect him to kill anybody. And we have most structured damage for the marine. Ah, so player damage by far, not, uh, not really by far, but almost a thousand more player damage. Most kills and as that pack accuracy. 55%. Yeah, you um trying to look for the timestamp where the where the uh, four man kill happened. It was either I think it was there between two and three minutes where four alien kills shot up. But there was also the the interesting occurrence happened around uh Four and a half minutes where Marines just suddenly lost four RTs and dropped down from five to one. Pretty much one go. Oh, yeah. After five minutes. I think that where the Lurks that went up then. The Lurks went up at 340, I think. Yeah. And I assume they just... My memory is bad, but I think they just packed together with the Lurks and... Killed all the rest.
So let's see, like, like the the aliens, they, I mean, Sauna boys, cost three pounds right now, but they really should stay, stay calm and stay focused. Want to get one point, so they, something happened. What did what did they wrong on the right in the last round? Ah, uh, the rest fighting, <laughs> as like tram typical, did not happen as effective as wished. Marines were able to cap up to six RTs and just take up. Um, yeah. Well, plus one of the fates flashed. The rest fighting thing should not be that much of a problem on Jambi. It's way harder to lane block here. And. I do see a chance for uh, Sona Boys to get a point here on the alien round. I do see it. Well, like the Lurks, they really need to go Lurk in time. And then they need to team up, make some good crushes. Yes, Dryal. Uh, each weapon upgrade gives you plus 10% to the previous one. <laughs> you don't have the caster mode on, <laughs> Crowbar. Uh, where? Uh, NS2 plus options, miscellaneous, there's the caster mode that ups the graphics a little bit and adds um, yeah. view models and stuff like that. It was just someone complaining that you cast without view models. Okay, I will next time I'll cast another awesome. The caster mode is enough, so. Yeah, caster mode. So, aliens are making a split. Oh, it has become a 1-1-2 one, one, split. Really important to get the parasites on this lane. Interesting that a shade and crack has been built in Pipeworks, moving to Oxy right now. They kind of play this almost the same Russian. Flaming up from the Oxy. And here comes. Yeah, but without a whip, I think. But there's one marine in Baving denying the gorge tunnel for some time. But at least they get Oxy up. Mr. Oizo missing the opportunity to get a nice ambush on uh, Pi. It's so hard to build uh, the RT and gravity. That's true. Hard to build. But hard it's kinda easy to have. Like after you build. Easy for Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, denying gravity is relatively so simple. So now here comes the crush, and the marines are not line of sight yet, but now they team up with each other. And, yeah, the Falcon, the crush, decides to... Four play. marines are pushing, base is open through gravity right now. If, Mar if aliens realize that quick enough, yeah. they might be able to swing Asu this Asu is year. going gravity, not scouting anything. They, might follow up. They killed Bow Badger yeah. though, now. Killed one. Uh, the parasites were not enough to make the base call, I suppose. They only had parasites up at this point. But, but at least they managed to go for the lanes and get for respiring. And now they're capping organ on it. They sh well, Bow Badger, Y Hero rotating towards the respiders. I think the rotation on the left side was a little bit too overcommitted. Yeah, that's definitely true, but... And also, in pairs we see the extract are already on 30%. But now the marines are capping based out killing the cyst. Do you want to structure them? Well, marines are in a very good position right now. They denied the tunnel and bay wing. And aliens do have a problem without that tunnel. They have 
not much map control that way. And if you want to score an early marine win, that's the way to go. Aliens decide to go for EC instead, a second option. Yeah, they noticed that there's too much pressure by the marines on base recycling side. So now they take the not very optimal second half spot, but still it's... At least you have that option, that hyprox life. If you spawn yeah. in waste, you don't have that option. Offset high. Yep. Here's the first lurk. Second one going right now. Oh, here comes the first pressure in proxy, but the chain in that crack will delay. And the lurk should be able to defend both right now. If Nicely timed double pressure by. Yeah, it's a really it's good time pressure by the marines, but the lurks cannot de decide. They cannot decide what to defend. And they. Now Someone one needs lurk to call a priority up. target now. Now they will and lose both probably if they don't decide. Herbie is going in for some really good pipes and bites and wow. pop Herbie with the huge play, right? Saving and, that and also, tunnel alone. Also an Oxy. Nick's able to kill one marine. There's he's full, he can, he's full. He can just go in and snipe him off. Yeah, he's waiting for Asma on the flank, but he will be trapped by 3.14. And no respiting happening. So 40 rest for the Marines. Up is. Oh, finally, armor 2 comes up. It was a nice defense by aliens. Marines still sitting on, on, on enough rest. They might be able to kill Waste and Baywing now. Well, Y Hero is sound scouting X and security. Probably waiting for someone to push Oxy with. Repairs is re still really low. Nice snipe by Wairo. Wairo and Well are able to. While Gar and Warden are saving the rest on the right side. We also see Bob Ager versus the Gorge. Killing the Hydras, getting some e res damage going. Here comes the Lurks and Oxy, but this will be it will be a free man push and the base is open again. Marines are really over committing a bit and the aliens never punish them. The Marines have a ops to beacon if necessary already. Interestingly enough they also have an armory blueprint right in front of the ops while having an armory build already. Yeah, I don't The aliens can't find the October. Be a true though. Yeah. So okay, so Oxy is going down. They lost the bag and they lost the shade. Ah now I see why they do it. Um if the aliens uh, pop the blueprint, uh Kyo will automatically have enough rest to beacon. Uh huh. Yeah. Makes sense. You had a brain that's map, you had a brain. That, that's the that's beacon bank. <laughs> beacon bank. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. You should steal that if you have enough rest. <laughs> mm, no, I don't steal it because I still don't think that it's... It, I mean, it's smart, but I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, keep, well, she, she just keep 10 res. Rest. I mean, if they never pop it, you wasted 10 res, basically. If they never pop it, you. Uh, I think it's more a matter of knowing your strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, now here comes a good pressure. Two shotguns and one rifle. The rifle to pull off the lurk. And the shotguns to, to push out the skulks. So let's see. Four, four, five aliens even teaming up for that engagement. First shotgun goes down. No lurk is going low, lots of med packs spent, and, but she can do that with 7 res and 7 RTs behind. So very strong gate, 
and good scans by Q just to deny that any skulks come through after that engagement. Oh, there is a fade egg, and they almost sniped it. Good one, Moldo, by the commander. And another shotgun goes down, and Gar is also low. The marines need to, uh, the aliens need to commit now on this fight to get the shotguns down. The bone wall. <laughs> yeah, so another shotgun goes down. But I think in total only one because they managed to rescue one shotgun. And Puppy immediately after that engagement is going for rest, which is quick. So, 8 minutes in, 7 RTs for Marines and only 2 RTs died so far is an insane amount of rest for Marines to have. Oh, Puppy just came too late and the second shot by Popacher also a meat shot. With that 183 meat shot on the lurk. I think Kyo has trouble spending all that rest. <laughs> but now, but now they don't really need two lurks. It's okay to have one lurk and more skulks to go and rest by it. So finally, Orny will be able to kill that repairs node. It's low since of the beginning. And the first fate died to P. With some nice solo pressure and the fate lost his life for that. It was... Mr. Oizo again with his early fade loss. Yeah, he he have to accept that kind of because he didn't play for a long time, so it's kind of expected that fade is definitely not on point. But here is a nice armory block. Not even the skulks can pass through. It looks like. But was that on. With that uh, phase gate set up, the weak spot of marines right now is the vent and X. That's what uh, the skulks should use constantly to get through to the rest. Yeah. And at the same time, we kind of need one marine standing here. Or here. Here, so he can get skulks from here and also from the gravity side. So he should stand between X and gravity and you know, maybe get an ops there just to. I had a constant rest pressure because this is what Marines is hurting right now. Only that this oh and look what is happening here. We have sentries wow. going up <laughs> in electrical core with probably arcs coming soon as well. No bile bomb yet. This Advanced armory is now completed, but Marines are sitting on four RTs. So let's see what happens here. The, uh, yeah, good point. There's no bile bomb up, so these sentries will be up. In the core. Also also no shade hive or shade and easy. Also we see catbacks by the marine commander so the gorge tunnel is damaging that one sentry though. <laughs> That's true. But they, they need they need the file bomb otherwise will be really hard and they're going for advanced metabolize instead of file bomb I don't really understand that play. I mean they have. They have a gorge now. I so. mean they can go for both now, if obviously at the same time. But now they go for. Okay, now bile bomb has been started. They will have some time. They have a shift. They have a lurk. They have lots of. Oh, but now Asu went fade. down because he went in alone for no reason. And now the power node, uh, the sentry battery is almost got down by Unique. Fades. The fades are really. Losing just their life, really bad situations. And now the, the gorge is also almost going down. All the life forms are dead, Marines don't even need the arcs anymore, say. They have corrected. Maybe they didn't even want to go for arcs. Just built their factory for the for the for the sentries. And bait an engagement by the aliens. The arc factory is up though already. Okay. There is the bile bomb. Yeah, that bile bomb. Yeah, that sentries are just gone now. But they did, they did quite some job killing the fate. Baiting the fate in. Actually, arcing electrical core is something I think I have never seen before. <laughs> really? No, I did it sometimes. Back in the days. 
But usually when you do that, you're in a desperate spot. But the marines are not. They seem to prefer our control area. Here comes the team up by the aliens, looks like. First Kalks goes in alone. But the gorge is pile bombing that arc for free, it looks like. But not really killing it. So the respiting continues, but not Poppy dies to the end. Not nice blueprint there, put down. To block the bio bomb. So now it's time to go for that gate together with the gorge. But they're not able. Our pony is able to kill it. And, but there comes one trap from behind on the gorge. And the cave will not go down. Will it? It is down now. Very good pile bomb by the by unique at the last second. The, the arc Marines. factory is lost. I assume they conceded that arc play for now. Yeah, but they don't concede that gate. Why would they? The Marine aliens don't have any life forms. But now here comes the skulk push, and the gate is gone again. But that's all no problem. Alien Marines are still sitting on 6 RTs and we have some nice double pressure going on in into VC, killing the tunnel, removing that mobility by the aliens. With cat pack support. Let's see on the P res. So Pony is still sitting on 45 res. He could both life form. And Gang Ho as well. Azu as well. They, they need that life form for now. Need full arcs and aid. Deal with that pressure. Much more looking at the PRS of the Marines with Y Hero at 100, PRS Gar at 94. Yeah, now no, he is in 7, 97, he just bought a welder. <laughs> but at this point, he should probably buy shotguns for his team. I don't see, like, if the aliens have only Skulks, why wouldn't you just buy a shotgun? Yeah, um, in this case, four shotguns into the hive would kill the uh, aliens. And here comes With a new gate mark? in EC, so probably we see a rush soon into the sea hive. With cat packs going and up shotguns. Now again. And the gorge. Okay. Oh, but we don't see a pressure into EC. Instead, they, oh, they want to make the double pressure. They make pressure on pipe and arc at the same time EC hive. It's a little bit early for pressure on pipe. <laughs> yeah, it is. The arc will take some time. time. It's just started. Timing is a bit off, but maybe they use the gate now in the next one. Because it Police hasn't... don't seem to be very confident on hive pushes though. No, nope. the lurks are doing a great job. And let's see what happens right now. So, Marines are spawning, Bob Ager is still going for pipe works. So is Gar, so there's no rush on that unscouted gate here. Not using the opportunity, but now it will be scouted by Pawnee. And now again, panic mode by aliens, obviously. Eight in front of our hive. To do about something about it. Rest fighting did stop for quite a while now. Just starting to pick up again. This Pi doing his, his best to save the up that goes down to Mr. Oizer. Can you hit the shade with a GL from... 
No, the shade is exactly behind the box. It's really hard to hit. The, the grenade would have to bounce off at the ceiling. I think there's a small angle where you can actually make it, but I'm not sure. So we have four arcs in position, and we have no shade in position. Do we even have a shade hive? Yeah, we have a shade hive, but no shade in position to ink. The shade is there. It's, ah, yeah, yeah, of course, we just talked about it. Uh, okay. Yeah, so the shade moved a bit back, so it's out of arc range, it looks like. And there is a flamethrower to deny the fire bomb. That's a great option. And an armory box also. Now one scout goes in, loses his life. I'm afraid GL plus flamethrower is losing a little bit too much of the firepower here. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And the aliens go in to pack. Only, what is it? One shotgun, one rifle. They can't really deal with the life bombs. So let's see how this goes. So there's only one higher life from up. That's true. We probably got caught on the crates. The arcing position is really strong and really tough to deal. They need to group up and just go in. No point, no other way. Six aliens, five aliens go in. Oh, the flames are all. And the shell is taking far. lots of damage off. And the lurk is dead, and now this hive will definitely go down. The aliens are not even respawned, so. Mr. Oilo Oilo is desperately trying to get some RTs down in the meantime. Managed to kill Gravity. Yeah. Yell is not doing much damage though. The inking is is also denying the hive go down. But now, he, now here comes the aliens push and the win the engagement. But there's no the really hive to But the hive is dead. There's nobody to ink, and this was a really close engagement. The arcs are dead now. They will probably and save the And a fade went team. down as well somewhere. Wow. And the marines are still alive, facing. A gorge and a scout. But All the gorges are dead. Very well played by the marine. And jet packs are up as well. Have been for a while, I think. But yeah, it didn't look like they used it.